What's good, A1 gang? Look, we doing something new. I want to know y'all thoughts on Bitcoin. Now, I'm not an expert or nothing, but I'm just going to check out this video and show y'all some of the things that I be checking out when I'm trying to learn about something. So drop y'all thoughts. Let me know what y'all know about Bitcoin in the comment section, man. Shout out to Alicio. Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. Just to give you a very quick update, what's happening right now on Bitcoin is absolutely awesome. I've been calling for this now for many months and finally it seems we are getting it. And in fact, we're getting it just about a couple of weeks, perhaps a week or two after we expected this to happen. And as you can see here, Bitcoin is finally getting follow through. That's the thing we're looking for, follow through, and we're getting it. As you can see here, Bitcoin has finally taken out the resistance levels. And guess what? The pulse signal, that I've been watching here is finally going the other way. You can see the momentum, the momentum shift on the pulse. You can see the momentum histogram. It's going the other way. We're getting from negative to less negative. I think this pulse eventually is going to fire to the upside. Okay. And when it fires to the upside, we're going to see more juice, more momentum behind Bitcoin as well. So things are looking really good for Bitcoin right now. Drop in the comment section. Let me know. Have y'all ever invested in Bitcoin? So far, I think I've purchased maybe like a thousand in Bitcoin, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. As you may recall, for many months now, I've been calling for Bitcoin seasonality to kick in uh, about the end of October. And as you can see here, it was a bit delayed. Uh, so the Bitcoin seasonality seems to have been delayed from October to November. And this is what I think is happening. I think we're seeing this Bitcoin seasonality kicking in from November and it should take us into further strength further momentum into the December, November period. And what's more, this is also important, something I mentioned in my previous video, courtesy of Jason Gephardt. And as you can see here, guys, people have been so bearish, so negative on Bitcoin. And guess what happens? The markets do the opposite, okay? When the majority of folks out there are very negative and pessimistic, the markets usually do the exact opposite and move in the opposite direction. All right, guys, so that's what we were saying here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when everybody, you know what I'm saying, talking shit, pretty much saying it's a bad thing, that's pretty much every time he's saying when Bitcoin prove everybody wrong. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully them prices... Okay. But current analysis and seasonality and a whole bunch of other factors here are telling us, guess what? This is the move that we've been waiting for. And finally, our patience is being rewarded and we're seeing that move to the upside in Bitcoin. All right, guys. So all I got to say is Godspeed. Let's hope this momentum continues. Okay. I think it will. All right, guys. Let's so go. The next target, actually, by potentially by the next couple of weeks, going to be about 6,800. Uh, I think we're going to hit 6,800 within the November period, potentially even higher than that. All right, guys. So I'm looking mm. at 6,800 to 7,000 potentially by end of November to December. And of course, I'll have more for you in the members video. By the way, one more thing I want to mention here quickly is this. Some of you said to me in the last video, why did I not mention the the fork in Bitcoin Cash? The reason I didn't mention the fork is because this kind of news, as I mentioned before many times, news narratives or reasons as to why something is happening, this is information for the masses. All right, guys, that's why I don't talk about reasons or what's in the mainstream media. If you want to know what's in the mainstream media or, you know, what's happening in the news narratives, guys, be my guest. If you want to know information for the masses, be my guest, go and watch CNBC and read the articles online. That's fine. My job here is to share with you information for the classes, not for the masses. Okay. Guess, we appreciate that, Alicio. He said he provided information for the classes, not the masses, man. Shout out to Alicio, man. The difference between information for the masses and classes, I highly recommend you watch my previous video, which I explained this key secret, which all traders know, but unfortunately many folks out there still don't know the difference between these two types of information. Thanks very much, guys. And um, if you like okay man let me know what y'all thoughts is on what's happening with bitcoin right now let me know if y'all you know want to get into some more of these uh bitcoin videos because i'll be watching these so if y'all interested in them too we can get into them let me know man a1 gang we out